all right hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you please invite your friends and today our topic I changed the topic actually I was going to speak about something else and because I am not too much uh, following the news about uh, Valentine I don't really care for such a day and as you know nobody loved me so why I want to care for it unlucky me however uh, Muslims they care very much for Valentine Day and Valentine Day is an enemy to Allah um, you know the funny thing about Islam <clears throat> now regarding what this day mean for many I mean I don't care really I mean if somebody uh, if Valentine they bring love to people why not but if it's bring this if it's about just uh, you know sex and etc this is garbage but anyone everyone in life he have his own purpose of things there's people who buy knife to make food for their children and there's people who buy knife to kill people with it there is people who uh, make love to a woman to have a family and there is people who make love just to for a, for a lust there is people who you know I mean the same thing can be uh, two standard or let us say uh, a different purpose but it's the same exact same thing now the Muslims they have tons of videos in YouTube speaking against Valentine Day but you know if we go and search I mean we find that Muslim they speak too much about ethic as an example this is Nu'man Khan the grandson of the Muslim Brotherhood uh, Brotherhood founder he was accused of a robe of scandals of sex of rape not only sex I mean this is guy he, he rape women he don't uh, you know but he have thousands and thousands of uh, lecturers about ethic and Islam uh, Nu'man Khan, very well-known uh, Muslim, who is uh, preaching for Allah every day and he is very famous. Later we found that he is suffering from the same story. And he speak against, uh, 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 you know, Valentine Day too. Uh, so, you know, what we see in the front of us, that they, they speak too much against Valentine. But they themselves, they are involved, not only in Valentine, they are involved in sexuality just for sex. They do Valentine, but in the wrong way every day. Uh, you know, we see the most Islamic people is the one who they are most, their family is very, I mean, very lousy. As an example, Osama bin Laden, this is his niece. His niece, she is, or, you know, I don't know what you call it. I don't want to say bad words, but I mean, you, you, you tell me what she is. So this is the niece of Osama bin Laden and uh, Osama bin Laden he gave us a speeches about uh, jihad and about etc or what about Omar Bakri Omar Bakri his daughter is a, is a, literally is a stripper I mean uh, uh, Omar Bakri he want to kill the, the the kuffar he want to do jihad he want to join ISIS he want to kill the Christians he want to kill the Jews uh, women they should cover themselves and yet his daughter herself is literally a stripper so they give us lecturers about what is right and what's wrong but then if we go we find that those people are involved in the most harsh sexuality which is not even about uh, even not, not not a normal sex not like a date you know it's like beyond what about the leader of care who is uh, uh, he, he was arrested <clears throat> and we are talking about big names here those are just not normal people like me and you those are leaders for for Muslims who was arrested for a child uh, 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 trafficking sex trafficking so uh, what about Muhammad himself? Muhammad, he have sex with a child. She is six years old. Muhammad, he have 13 wives. So if you are against a woman to have a date with a man, let us say you are against sexuality to be open between a man and a woman. But isn't it Islam allow muta, which mean your prophet, he allow you to take a woman for bed just for exchange of some goods. So at least those people, they are not doing for money. <clears throat> In Islam, it's legalized to be a hooker. Imagine you have a man. He says to you that uh, uh, you know uh, Valentine Day is haram. It's forbidden, my friend. But then we find Islam not only allow sexuality, allow you to rent a woman for three days, three nights for sex, and you pay her in return some money. And if you want to increase, increase. So this is what this is open Valentine. Valentine is not necessarily something bad. It can be between a man and his wife. It can be between a man and a woman, but there is nothing nothing involved sexuality. It can be, it can be, and it can be about sex too. 
but Islam legalize legalize sleeping around it is halal in Islam to rent a woman just pay her this is this by the way this is Quran chapter 4 verse number 24 it says the muta the Sunni is say to you that the Shia practice muta this is a lie the 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 one who practiced muta is Muhammad and his companion all of them and this is in the Quran Allah himself he allow muta so Allah he forbid you from doing Valentine but he allow you to do muta to rent a woman in the elevator for five minutes she take off her panty and then you sleep with her and that is halal so a man he have a relationship with the women and supposedly he love her and if he sleep with her huh, which for us as a Christian this is not have, have nothing to do with the Christianity but let us say somebody he does that for you he is a big time sinner but you do it every day what about having for some so you are against Valentine that a man he have relationship with one woman but you have in the bed four women and you are number five for some I don't know they call it five some what they call it so you know how Muslims they say we are against open sexuality when all of Islam is about sex when in Islam you go to heaven even even your heaven is about sexuality what you what you will be in heaven doing the Quran says that you will be having sex fakihun, which means you will be enjoying all day long busy having sex. So the hypocrisy of those who claim that uh, Valentine, <laughs> you know, Valentine is, uh, uh, is, is, is haram. I mean, this is, this is the most hypocrite religion ever chapter 36 verse number 55 you will be busy doing what exactly do you know what you will be doing you will be opening excuse my language excuse my language again between two bracket vagina do you want me to show you the reference do you want me to show you the reference so you're having all of it nothing there is no valentine in your heaven it's just sex at least those people maybe they are having maybe there is a relationship maybe they love each other maybe they want to get married maybe they are married maybe 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 but in islam here we go read with me this is tafsir at-tabari they you will be busy opening vagina haddathana mas'ud ibn hamid qala shughlahum iftidadu al-adhara you will be busy opening the vagina of the virgins so you are against you are against a valentine day but you will be busy opening vagina 24 hours seven days a week for eternity and not only that you open the vagina and allah he make her virgin again so the hypocrisy of the abdul is beyond imagination they speak too much against valentine but what their religion is about what your religion is about isn't it all of it is about sex why we have a lack of of uh, of uh, uh, honesty in this cult i mean they try to present themselves as a religion teach ethic right but i never saw any ethic in this religion i will try to find you the tafsir in english chapter 36 verse number 55 all right, let us see. Maybe we can find it in English. I doubt they will put that in English. But if you have my book anyway, six and Allah, you will find it. <clears throat> they talk too much about ethic, but they are ethically free. We are against sex, but number one country search for sex with donkeys is Pakistan. I mean, have you ever heard of this? Huh? Read with me. Here we go. We found it in English. Are you happy now? We found it in English. So we are against Valentine. In, indeed, who is talking? Allah. Indeed, the inhabitants of paradise are busy. Busy doing what? Do you know what you will be busy doing what? Read with me carefully. In a pleasure such as the flowering virgins. They are using a nice words, by the way, saying deflowering. Do you see it? <laughs> this is your God. This is not Naman Khan. This is not Tariq Ramadan who was accused of a raw of rape. 
This is not your prophet. This is not a Christian prince. This is not a Tabari. This is not Ibn Kathir. This is this is your God saying you will be busy in the heaven of Allah doing nothing but bang bang boom boom. So we call Dr. Zakir Naik there. We ask him, brother, can you talk to us? Zakir Naik. I told you, I told you what at the time, don't call me. And right now I'm very busy. Uh, brother, what are you doing? I'm having sex with a lot of vagina. Uh, they are low, long, long. Uh, brother, can you give us like just two times? I cannot, I cannot. I told you I'm busy. The Quran said we will be busy having sex with the vagina all, all of the day. So please don't call me. I will send even my number because of you. Dr. Zakenag, please don't change your number. If you change your number, who's going to call you? I don't care. Just leave me alone. I'm busy right now. I am in heaven and you already doing hell. Go and do your Valentine's Day. So they speak too much against Valentine. But what do you have, Muslims? What is your ethic? Do you remember, guys, the guy we asked him, are you going to have sex with your mother in heaven? Do you remember? He said yes. Do you remember? Let us see. I mean, they talk too much about about uh, uh, ethic. They talk too much about good and bad. But where is your good and what is your bad? Can you hear me? Yes, mute YouTube, please. Sorry? Mute YouTube so we don't have double voice. What do you want to say to us, Mr. Yes. Russ? Why are you upset? You say you, 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 you said you said this Nothing guy is, is a fraud. Sin in heaven. Huh? Nothing is sin in heaven. Thank you very much. This is what I'm saying. In the heaven, you can have sex with the goat. It's fine for you, right? Not nothing sin. There's no nothing sin. You can sin. you yes. can have sex with your mother. Okay. Yes. Well, okay. So you can you are proud about having sex with your mother. You and your father, you will have sex with the same woman, which is your mother. Anything. Anything is fun. Everything comes from God in heaven. No problem. Say, you you, you said you said this Nothing guy is a fraud. Sin in heaven. Huh? Nothing is sin in heaven. Thank you very much. That's what I'm saying. In the heaven, you can have sex with the goat. It's fine for you, right? Not nothing sin. There's no nothing sin. You can sin. you yes. can have sex with your mother. Okay. Yes. Well, okay. So you can you are proud about having sex with your mother. You and your father, you will have sex with the same woman, which is your mother. Anything. Anything is fun. Everything comes from God in heaven. No problem. So in the heaven of Allah, you will have a threesome, you and your father and your mother in the bed. Okay. And you don't see that there's something wrong with that. Okay. <laughs> Do you hear it? Okay. I mean, like he's saying like, like, okay, so? I mean, like, what? So what? So what's your problem? Like, huh? So... Valentine Day is kaka, is cuckoo, is wawa, is haram. Allahu Akbar, brother. Allahu Akbar, brother. But in heaven, he will have sex with his mother and his father in the same bed. Huh? What's up? What's the problem? There's no problem. There is no sin in heaven. Did you hear it? Yes. Mr. Russ, why are you upset? You say you, you, the you said you said this Nothing guy is, is a fraud. Sin in heaven. Huh? Nothing is sin in heaven. Thank you very much. That's what I'm saying. In the heaven, you can have sex with the goat. It's fine for you, right? Not nothing sin. There's no nothing sin. You can sin. you yes. can have sex with your mother. Okay. Yes. Well, okay. So you can you are proud about having sex with your mother. You and your father, you will have sex with the same woman, which is your mother. Anything. Anything is fun. Everything comes from God in heaven. No problem. So in the heaven of Allah, you will have a threesome, you and your father and your mother in the bed. Okay. And you don't see that there's something wrong with that. What do you not understand about nothing is sin? Well, I, I, sin I'm just trying to understand, my friend. You, I mean, do you see how stupid the Christian prince is? Do you see how stupid he is? Why you cannot understand that there's no sin in heaven of Allah? There's no sin. We are hippies. We have sex with everybody. Anything is walking around, we have sex with it. Even if we see a hole in the wall, we have sex with it. What's wrong with you? There is no sin in the heaven of Allah. What's wrong with you? I told you. So what? He want to have sex with his mother. So what's your problem? I mean, why you? Why you are slow? But but, hold on. Valentine is haram. Brother, you will go to hell, brother, if you have Valentine, Valentine. But having sex with your mother in heaven is halal. 
Okay, I'm not smart like said, you. We think it's in due to our social okay. structure. If, if, the, if Zach and Mary, I'm not trying to insult, by the way. I'm not trying to insult. Don't take me wrong, please. You know, I, I have not. I don't know you. you. Okay, no, I'm not trying to insult. If Zach and Eric, he want to have sex with your sister, and you like your sister, so are you willing you and Zach and Eric to have share to share your sister together? In this case, Zach and I, mm -hmm. in heaven, mm -hmm. he would have a situation in which he could. He could. So you and your sister and you Zach and Eric in one bed. But it it wouldn't be my. It would be it wouldn't be my sister. Why not? In heaven. Think of it as anything can happen. Oh, anything can happen. So your sister, it's possible that you and Zach and Nick having sex with your sister at the same time. That's amazing pleasure. I mean, what I can say, this is beautiful, my friend. I'm really in touch. I've, I'm thinking now to convert to Islam. And can you tell me what is the wisdom behind this? Why? Why you, your sister and Zach and Nick and you in the bed and you don't see that there's something wrong with that? Why do you think there's no, nothing wrong with that? Look, okay. I, due, due to our social like structure and mm. morals, yes, mm. it's wrong. Mm. But when you get to heaven, anything can happen. Anything, anything can happen. Mm. Yes. What if uh, what if somebody want to have sex with the Prophet Muhammad, peace upon him? If it's in heaven, yes. So the Prophet, he will take off his panty, he will bend over, and we will see somebody doing him from his behind. In my in my heaven, yes. Okay, that's one. Did, did you hear it? Did you hear it? He don't mind that he's a prophet getting boom boom by a man. Did you hear it? I mean, if you, by the way, this is a guy, he's, he's a speaker corner, his name is Abbas. Don't think this guy, I paid him to come, and the other guy is Moroccan, and you, you see all of them. That's why I advise you to download those videos. So, Valentine is haram. I mean, Valentine is haram, come on. We have to face it. But having sex with the Prophet, doing boom, boom to the Prophet, the Prophet taking off his panty and he bent over, he have no problem with it, but Valentine is haram. I mean, what's wrong with you people? You can't you see how wise this religion is? That why you think there's no right, nothing wrong with that? Look, okay, I due due to our social like structure and mm. morals, yes, mm. it's wrong. Mm. But when you get to heaven, anything can happen. Anything can happen. Mm. Yes. What if uh, what if somebody want to have sex with the Prophet Muhammad peace upon him? If it's in heaven, yes. So the prophet he will take off his panty he will bend over and we will see somebody doing him from his behind in my in my heaven yes okay that's wonderful and uh, do, do you think you will be hurt if somebody do it to you from your because you're a man i mean i think that will be hurting you badly do you think allah will ease your anus pain no uh, listen it, that person whoever who wants to do it mm -hmm. he would the uh, he would be able to do it in his own uh, time and space with time and space no problem but that now we are talking about time and space in two minutes from now we will be in a fiction movie like time and space what time and space well, like you are a man and you okay so what, what 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 i mean guys let us make it short have you ever heard of more stupid of you know absurd stupid cult more than this they have no problem to have sex with the children's the prophet he did marry Aisha at the age of six. The prophet he wished to marry, and he asked for the hand the the the, 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 the hand of a woman when she was an infant. Uh, Al Khomeini he said there's no problem to have sexual relationship with an infant by putting your private part between her legs. And actually, we have a debate about it before. Let me see if I can find it for you. I mean, but but uh, but uh, you know, remember. I mean, remember, my friend. It's haram. Uh, uh, Valentine is haram. I mean, come on, we have to be honest here. Valentine is a problem. And the guy was debating me. He's a doctor. Let us see if we can find it. Here we go. He can touch her. Look at the desire. And by hugs, the girl, she is not even maybe a one week or two weeks old because, as you see, it's radia, which means she's just drink milk. I don't know. This is what your imam is saying. He's saying sexual relationship by hugs. Read with me. This is your Islamic site. As you see, this is not my website. All kind of sexual relationship. 
like touch with desire look at the desire and hugs and tafkhid touch with desire or hugs or putting your private part between the legs of that little baby this is his explanation I'm reading just exactly as he write I'm not adding one word he's saying doing that to a little girl she is just she can drink milk only she's a radia suckling you know girl it's okay you can touch her in a sexual way to enjoy her you can hug her in a sexual way it's okay or you can put your private man hood between her legs to enjoy her now you tell me what you understand from that your mic okay don't forget that this baby okay this Ravia is a wife is a wife he is not fucking her, okay? The 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 husband is not fuck. <laughs> Don't use dirty words, Doctor. Listen, listen. I know you are in the corner. Listen, she is a little girl. What do you mean, wife? She is she she cannot eat yet. She drink only milk. What do you mean she's a wife? Guys, she's a wife. She don't have teeth yet. How you say she is a wife? Your mic, man. Go ahead. Can you tell me? Can you tell me what's the different? What's the difference between, you know, marriage and non-marriage? You know, b between legal and uh, illegal relation. Your mic. Doctor, don't change the topic. How you can marry a little girl? She don't have teeth even. You said she is a wife. Explain to us in the room how Muslims marry a girl. She don't have her teeth yet. She drink milk only. She suckle only. How she became a wife and how he is approving you to touch her in a sexual way, to enjoy her in a sexual way. Not only that, to put your private part between her legs, your mic. Okay, we are talking about marriage, okay? You know, this you know, this situation is, is a special situation. We are not we, we never heard we never see, you know, we never seen a uh, husband Listen, what special situation situation? Listen. This is your scholars, the one you approve as a big leader for you saying you can have re relationship sexually with little baby girl she don't have teeth yet explain to us how you can do such a thing your mic okay I'm allowed to have a baby wife okay but did I have, you know, uh, <laughs> baby wife? Do I have right yes. now a baby wife? Your mic. I don't care if you have a baby wife or not, but how your God allowed you to have a baby wife, man? She cannot even eat. She's still in her diaper. She do poo poo. How you take her as a wife? How you enjoy her in a sex way? How? Explain to us what kind of religion this religion would allow you. To have a baby wife you have it you don't have it your religion allowed you you can do it because in Islam it's okay so how you can have a baby wife who do not have teeth yet who cannot even speak yet who say her you know come on how 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 you can have sex with that with a girl like this your mic Go ahead. Okay. Who put the standards? If this girl is a baby or a woman, I can marry two. 
a woman or uh, or if there is you know uh, who but the rules so that I can marry to a woman if she re you know a special age humans humans Oh, but the, the, this is standards, okay? Oh, but the, this is not good. Okay, that's, we are done. We are done. One percent. We are done with this one. So you see here how this cult, relation. how this cult function. They speak too much. They have tons of articles against uh, uh, Valentine, thousands of videos, but they have no problem to have sex with their mother. Uh, by the way, even sex with, with your daughter in earth is allowed. The Muslim, they say to you, do you know the story of Lut? Where his daughters, they step with him in the Bible. My friend, the Bible tell a story about what the, what the daughters did, not what God told them to do. In your Quran, in your interpretation, in your explanation, according to Islam, you can have sex with your daughter legally. If she is not a daughter from marriage. And you can have sex with the children. And you can have sex with your mother and you can have sex with the prophet and you can have sex with your sister in heaven so what is left in this cult what is left in this cult i'm not going to stay long today tomorrow we will stay longer just i want to keep this video short so you guys can download it can share it with your friends and thank you for those who made donation we appreciate your help remember my friends islam is a big fat lie they speak too much about ethic all of us we are sinners i'm not saying i am better than anyone all of us we are sinners and we don't want hypocrisy men women they like each other for a very simple reason because the male is a male and the female is a female so stop being hypocrite but islam is religion teach lost there's a there is people who do commit sin and there's God, his name is Allah. He teach you to commit sin. He drive you to commit what is even a crime, not sin, because having sex with the children is not a sin anymore. This is a crime against children. Jesus says it's better for a man to, to put a milestone in his neck and throw himself in the deep ocean before he hurt those little ones. It's better for you to jump in the ocean, deep in the ocean, disappear from this earth before you hurt those little ones. Your prophet, he heard them. Islam he hurt them. Islam hurt the children. Islam don't respect children. Islam don't make, don't let you stay as a child. Even a child is a product of sex. Islam destroyed relationship between men and women. God created Adam and Eve, not Adam and a thousand of Eves. And the women, she knew the man and the man, he knew the women. In Islam, you go to heaven, you don't even know the women you are going to marry from. Until now in Saudi Arabia, in many Islamic countries, the man, he never even saw the wife. So what, what does that mean? This is just a marriage for sex. And then he sleep with her for a few days and then he find out that she is not what he's looking for. He hit her a text message saying you are divorced and he exchanged her with a new one. He can replace four wives every day. So don't fool yourself and say we have ethic. You have nothing but hypocrisy. You have no love in your life. Only sexuality and lust. And yet you talk too much about ethic. I never saw all my life people speak about ethic as much as Muslims, but they are ethic free. Just give Muslim countries a freedom and you will see what will happen. Just give them freedom and you will see and you will, you, you will not imagine what will happen overnight. So let us remember one thing. People do things for a reason. Valentine can be good, can be bad, depend what you want to do in it. You can be a person who is in love and your love is a decent love. Nothing wrong with that. You can celebrate Valentine every day. What's wrong with what's wrong with that? Love is good. Hate is bad. But love should not be about sex. Sexuality is a part of us, is not something we created. It is God gift to us. So it should be used as a gift. And the gift is from God should be used as God who wanted us to use it. But always we see the Muslim, they speak about ethic. And we are people who commit sin, all of us. There's nobody in this earth, he is not a sinner. So stop being hypocrite 
you your scholars who speak too much against Valentine they are number one people in the world who watch porn I remember when I was in the Middle East I was in the roof and I saw oh everybody changing the, the, the direction of the satellite I could not understand why I went downstairs I look at the satellite it's working fine so why they are changing and later they told me I, wa I was working with some uh, 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 young uh, uh, youth from my age they told me did you change direction of satellite I said no why it's working fine they said because the porn station they change direction don't you know the whole city in the in the roof old young everybody in the roof it changing the direction of the satellite but all of them they pray five times a day all of them they wear the hat of Islam all of them they will say alhamdulillah inshallah mashallah all of them they are very decent Muslims who re repeat the name of Allah in every step they do in their life but the second the satellite they should change the, the, the frequency for porn station everybody in the roof nation of hypocrisy your heaven is porn your God is about porn your prophet is about porn your Quran is a book of porn stop schooling people about what is ethical you have none of it thank you very much for watching don't forget to download the video this video will be taken down in a few hours from now just to be sure that you guys are downloading and sharing in few hours I, I promise you in few hours three four hours maximum this video will be taken down so download it share it around and thank you very much for being here may the Lord bless you and thank you again for those who support us with donation and we will see you tomorrow tomorrow will stay longer so we can give a better education and better time to receive phone calls from those who dare to call us if they dare thank you for now Christ is Lord Islam is false garbage in garbage out and see you soon again bye bye